We're in Veritas Backup Exec 16, and we want to add a, another server that we can back up besides the host server that where we installed the program. So let's go to the upper left-hand corner and choose Installation and Licensing, and install Agents and Backup Exec uh, servers on other servers. So we're going to get a new box that pops up, and we have a couple of options when we click on Add. One is to add a single computer, one is to add multiple computers with the same settings. So if we choose the multiple option, then whatever computers that we're going to be adding have to all have the same administrator password. So let's go ahead and just choose Add Single for now, and we get another couple of options. The first one is Veritas Backup Exec, and the second one is the Agent. We don't want to choose the backup exec unless we want to reinstall the program onto a different server. In our case, we just want the agent because all we want to do is back up that server. So let's go ahead and choose next. And now we have the option to put in the remote computer. Now we can either browse to that computer or if we know the name, we can just go ahead and type the name of the computer and put in the username, the password, and the domain. And then we click Next. And we're going to go ahead and choose the default agent for Windows, and we're going to install it into the default directory, but you can certainly change that if you want. We'll click Next, and now it's validating. Validation basically just goes in and makes sure that the server exists and the username and password are good. So we'll highlight that server and click Next. and we'll click install. So now it's pushing out the agent to that other server from our host backup exec server. And the other server is going to be on a Windows Server platform, but we can also push out to Windows desktops as well, although that does require a different type of license from Veritas. And the installation usually only takes a couple of minutes, so it's fairly quick, but it does depend on the speed of your network connection and the speed of the other computer. And it does a pretty good job on updating you with the status as it goes along. Before it can install it onto a server, it does have to put the Visual C++ uh, package onto it. And once that's finished, then the agent itself can get pushed out. And it looks like the installation was successful. We see 100% complete. Now it's cleaning up the additional temporary files that it installed on the server. And then we can go ahead and click Next. And now it's complete. We'll go ahead and click Next. And we can choose to read the View Me file or not, and click Finish. So we should see this server pop up in our list of servers here in a moment. And then we'll be able to back up that server if we want going forward. And there's our DC1 server that we just added. Let's go ahead and right click on it and choose Establish Connection just in case it doesn't show that it's connected right away. And within a few minutes, the connection will be complete. And then we can go ahead and start using that as a backup server. Or actually, we can start using it to backup that particular server. So that is how you push out the agent to another server from Veritas Backup Exec 16.